everyone, this is Pranita and welcome to Watercolor Wednesdays. Today, I'm going to talk you through my process of creating a watercolor painting. I won't be going into how to draw the image, but comment down below if you'd like to see that included in my tutorials. I will put up all the materials you will need for this as well as the colors I will be using. So after I've drawn my image, I use a reference picture to map out my color palette. All the colors that I have are separated onto two swatch cards, one for my Holbein colors and one for my Windsor & Newton. I'll start by swatching my base color, which in this case will be the raw umber, and I will make a couple of these so that later I can glaze them to see what tones I want. second swatch, I'm adding a little burnt umber to deepen the color for the shadows. If I want to mix a lot of a color, I'll use my palette. So here I'm mixing burnt umber with a little praline maroon just to see what a warmer hue would look like. I don't end up using very much of this color in the end. For the last two swatches, I start with the burnt umber and add a little neutral tint to darken the color for the darker shadows. Once I have all the colors I will need, I label them for later. labeling everything, I usually do a small test version of what I'm going to paint just to make sure I have all the colors that I will need. I'm not doing this on watercolor paper so it dries differently and therefore looks different than it would on the correct paper. The colors are a little duller and the water doesn't sit on the paper uh, nearly as well as it does on watercolor paper. For the glass of milk, I will be using Ivory Black from Windsor Newton and Davies Grey from Holbein. I found the neutral tint from Holbein to be a little too blue for this part, so that's why I'm using the Ivory Black instead. Starting by using the dry on wet technique and the paper I'm using is Arsh's Hot Press Satin Grain which means it doesn't hold a lot of water so you don't want to overdo it. I'm starting with my raw umber and mixing in the burnt umber slowly as I go along to add shadows. It's very important to stick with where your shadows are and know where your shadows are and keep building those darker areas slowly as you go through the painting. Since this is a stack of cookies, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint them alternately so that the whole thing doesn't look like one giant mass because where those two lines meet and dry, there'll be a slight line of intensity of pigment that will add more texture to your painting. So you, where you want your darkest shadows to be, that's where you want to lay down your pigment with the least amount of water and then use a clean brush. I'm using a very small mop brush here because it holds a lot of water and then blend it out as much as you need to. For the glass of milk, you really want to control the amount of pigment you're using. So you're using very little pigment with a lot of water. And here I'm just blending in the Davies Grey with the Ivory Black so I can get this slight milky texture. <music> Last 
lastly you're going to add a drop shadow and for this it's the same idea you're going to lay the pigment down where you want the most intensity and then use a mop brush to blend it out just make sure that all of your shadows are going in the same direction so there's a little bit of cohesiveness in the piece and there you have it thank you very much for joining me on this tutorial and i'd love to see your attempts so please tag me in your instagram post at pranita vaidya and have a great day